Once you grasp what I am about to share with you today about how powerful your imagination really is, you will never look at the world in the same way again. Welcome to Success Manifestation with Kath Kyle. Now I have the personality type of being a fixer. Whenever I or somebody that I know has a problem, I'm immediately on Google searching for a practical solution and I have been this way all of my life. And I'm sure you've done the same thing yourself. But the problem is, half the time, these practical solutions don't actually work. And the reason is because you didn't stop to use your imagination first. All of the results that we have in our lives, everything that we have already achieved, all of the solutions that we found to problems, they all came from using your own imagination. This is the only way to get results. This is the only way to manifest what you actually want is by evoking the imagination. And I'm not saying that you imagined the very specific solution to your problem. Somebody else has already imagined the solution to your problem. All you need to do is imagine that you have the result you want. And the method by which you get those results is not determined by you, unless of course you want it to be. But most of the time, we don't care how we actually get the solution, we just want the solution, we just want to achieve the thing and get the results that we want and it doesn't matter how we get there. And you might be saying to me, I don't really believe you. I worked hard for my results. I poured blood, sweat and tears into everything that I've ever done. I didn't just manifest things through my imagination. So I want to show you some fun examples of different things that you could have achieved in your life and that most people do achieve across the course of their lives. And I want to show you that there is a very hard way to achieve those very things by putting a lot of effort and hard work into them. And I want to show you that a lot of people get exactly the same result by putting in practically no effort and no hard work whatsoever. And you might know people like this, that you have to work really hard to get all of your results and then you might have a friend or a family member who they just get good things showing up in their lives without them having to even do anything and they're just a lucky person. And you might think, well, that's just luck. They're just a lucky person, but I have to work hard. No, it all comes from the imagination. However hard you work to achieve what you achieve, that is because of your own assumptions and beliefs. That is what you are manifesting. You are manifesting having to work hard for your results. Whereas somebody else who might think that they are a lucky person, they are manifesting not having to work hard and still getting the same results. So let's have a look at the examples. A big thing that a lot of people want to achieve at some point in their lives is to lose weight. And if I asked you, what would you do if you wanted to lose weight? You'd probably say to me, you'd have to go on a diet. You'd have to meal plan, write down everything you were going to eat for the whole week. Then you'd have to log all the calories, get your scales out, measure everything, be deprived, eat healthy food, eat rabbit food, only lose one pound a week and it takes forever and then when you stop the diet it all just comes back on again and you've got to start from square one again and it's all so much hard work. But then there are people out there who just simply lost a lot of weight without doing anything and when you ask them how did you lose the weight and they say it just fell off. I didn't do anything, it literally just fell off and you just think how do they get all the luck? it's through their imagination. How about something that most of us are told when we are children, that we've got to work hard and pass our exams and then when we pass our exams, we can finally get that job. So if I said to you, or somebody else who has a job, how did you get that job? They might say, because I had the qualifications. I was certified in order to do the job. I worked really hard. I studied for years. I sacrificed free time in order to study, do assignments and pass all these exams. And then we all know those people who never study. They stay up all night partying before the night of an exam and they still get full marks. And if you ask those kind of people, how did you do it? And they say, I was just lucky. I just knew the answers to the questions. It was just that I got the questions that I already knew the answers to. I'm just one of these people who just 
retains information so I don't have to study because I already know the information and that's because they assume that they are that person because maybe when they were younger they were told by their parents you've just got such natural talent, you're naturally intelligent, you're just naturally gifted, you're smart, you're one of these people who are just really lazy but you still happen to get all the good grades. And then we've had conversations with other people where we, we say to a couple, how did you meet? And they might say, I went on hundreds of dates, I put a lot of effort into it, I went on three dates every week for years and years and finally after all that hard work I finally met my ideal partner and it was so worth all the hard work. And then there are those people who say, I just ran into them accidentally, I just literally bumped into them. It was no effort, no hard work at all. And then there are people who create passive income for themselves, like for example, starting a business. And you might say to those people, how did you get to the point where you could finally make passive income? And Somebody like me might say to you, well, I wrote hundreds of blog posts and eventually Google picked them up and put them on the first page of Google. Then people read the blog post and then they clicked on my link and then they went over and bought my product. And when enough people did that, I was finally able to earn passive income. And then there are other people who simply inherited money and they invested it in the stock market and they literally don't work a business but they have this passive income that just keeps coming in for them. And most people's reaction to these kind of lucky people is that life is just not fair. Why are these lucky people just blessed with all this good luck and they just win competitions and they win money all over the place and they just things just land in their lap and whatever they touch turns to gold and I'm the kind of person who struggles and stresses and works hard and yet I still haven't got the results that they've got. It's all to do with your own assumptions. It's all to do with your own imagination. Whatever you assume to be true for yourself will be true. Most people can't allow themselves to be this lucky person that things just happen for because they don't feel worthy of being that lucky person. They feel like they have to earn their good fortune first by putting their effort and their toil and stress into a project first and then finally they will deserve to have some kind of reward for all of their hard work. It took me a really, really long time to figure this out. When I first got really, really sick, I was sick for a couple of years, I could barely get out of bed, I had so little energy and I prayed for good health and it, nothing worked. The doctors told me I would never recover, but I came back from the doctors with this energy and this passion and I decided right there that I was not going to just manage my condition, I was going to get rid of my condition. And that literally just took a few seconds to have that thought, but that changed the course of my life. And I didn't realize that that was enough just to think that thought was simply enough. I had another assumption that good health came from good food, that my diet probably just wasn't healthy enough. Maybe I was just a weak person who had to eat all this ultra healthy food to be able to get the health that everybody else had just by eating junk food. So I went on the most extreme diet that I could find. I went on a raw food diet. I cut out many food groups. I read so many books that convinced me that this was a path to the best health of your life and I believed it. I assumed that this was going to happen for me and it absolutely did. Not only did I get my health back but I had more energy than I'd ever felt in my entire life. I was just bursting with vitality and energy and I dropped 56 pounds and I thought wow this diet is the answer to everything. I have to tell the whole world about this diet. So I started a business to encourage people to adopt a similar diet to me, to drink these green smoothies that I had been drinking to get the good results. And the business did really really well and I assumed I was going to help people and millions and millions of people flocked to my website. I had thousands of people messaging me with transformations saying that adopting the same diet had completely transformed their lives as well. I became more and more obsessed with getting healthier and healthier and healthier and 
cleaner and cleaner. And every time I read books telling me that there that, that was these nasty ingredients in all of these products and I went to such great lengths to avoid anything unhealthy. And all the while, my allergies to normal or unhealthy products or ingredients were just getting worse and worse and worse. I was becoming allergic to everything. And then my diet had to get even more extreme and more healthy. So it's just a vicious circle and there is no end to this. And it wasn't until I got into manifestation and spirituality in a really big way that I realized the errors of my ways. Although I thought I was doing a really good thing, I thought that I was being healthy for myself and helping other people to be healthy. And I was getting all of this positive feedback and I thought I'm really helping to transform people lives all I was doing was making people dependent on something physical rather than looking to the actual source of their results and the source of their results is simply their own assumptions their own imagination because your imagination is tapped into the spiritual powers of the entire world whatever you imagine to be true will be true. The only reason that you have got results from anything in your life is because somebody convinced you to do something in your physical reality and then when you did that thing you got certain results and you didn't attribute it to the fact that you simply believed them. It was your belief system that gave you the results not the physical thing that you were using and that is why whatever miracle products are out there there are always some people who get results with them and some people who don't because it's based on their own assumptions or maybe they've got, they've got some bigger beliefs that are blocking them from getting specific results such as I just never get healthy, nothing works for me, nobody ever cares about me, those kind of things. When you have these generalized sweeping statements, it doesn't matter what you are trying, none of it will work. Your entire reality is based on your own assumptions. And most of these assumptions were given to you as a child, so it's really hard to even recognize what assumptions you already have. You want more money? You assume that you have to earn it. You assume that you have to work hard for it because that is what you were told by multiple different people. But this is your reality. You create your reality. And now that you've heard this information, you can't unhear it. You can put it to the test. If you don't believe what I'm saying because you are skeptical, and of course you're going to be skeptical because these assumptions and these belief systems are ingrained into us from birth, then I encourage you to put it to the test with very small manifestations. Start to assume different results for very small things in your life. For example, you could start to assume that money is everywhere and you could prove this to yourself by assuming that you are going to find money on the ground. You could even back up your own assumptions by googling how much money is there on the ground. Has anyone ever done any studies? How many people generally find money on the ground? And when you start to find evidence of other people finding money all over the place on the ground, you will start to see money on the ground yourself. So how do you actually go about changing your assumptions and your belief system? Now you can actually do it by just simply making a decision, but because we have got very ingrained belief systems built up from many, many years, it's very difficult just to simply decide something and have it remain in place indefinitely. Usually that belief is going to be overridden when a previous belief pops up again, which is more powerful. So what I encourage you to do instead is to create a reverse memory. A memory is a memory that you've created in your imagination of a future event that hasn't yet manifested in your physical reality. So say for example, you want to start finding money on the ground, you would start to imagine a scene where you've actually picked up some money on the ground, you looked at it in your hand, and you said something to yourself like, wow, I can actually find money on the ground. There is money everywhere. Or maybe you're standing next to somebody and you have a conversation with them and you say that to them. And they say back to you, yes, you just keep on finding money everywhere. You're really, really lucky when it comes to finding money. And then you would loop that scene over and over again in your imagination, do it every single day, 
go to sleep playing the scene over and over again in your imagination and within a short period of time it might take a few days it might take a couple of weeks but you will notice that things are starting to change for you and this is how manifestation works so I want to encourage you to start seeing the world in a different light look at the people that you envy you're jealous of because they've got the things that you want and simply think to yourself they only have what they want because of the use of their imagination. Be inspired by the use of their imagination, not what they've actually done physically. Because the actions that you perform physically are just part of the automatic unfolding. This is just inevitable action. So even though you might be working really hard and it might be really stressful, there is no option but to work really hard and for things to be really stressful if you assume that that is the only path for you to get the results that you want. You will automatically go through the motions. So if you're going to automatically go through the motions, then you might as well automatically manifest an easier method of doing something just by being one of those lucky people rather than one of those people who has to work really hard to get what they want. And if you want to know more about this, I have a great video called, Can You Really Manifest Without Taking Any Action? The Truth. And if you're struggling to believe in manifestation, maybe you have put it to the test and you feel like it didn't work for you, that it failed for you, then I have a video for you called, Why Manifestation Didn't Work For You. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic in the comments below. Leave me a comment letting me know have you ever assumed something and then got exactly what you assumed you were going to get? Can you think of any specific examples, either negative or positive, because it works for both? And while you're there, like this video, subscribe, and I also have a free gift if, if you are trying to manifest fame, fortune, and followers. I have a free manifestation milestones board pack for you in the description below. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.